Well, it's a toxin that can wreak havoc in the upper atmosphere, but little is known about how much formaldehyde exists in the Earth's protective layer. Scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center are hoping to change that, however, with a new instrument that was recently tested. In July 2011, NASA began a series of flights designed to test pollution levels in the atmosphere. Much of the data is now being combed through by scientists at Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt. This instrument is measuring one of the sources of pollution, formaldehyde, and how it gets transported to the upper atmosphere. Formaldehyde is uh, abundant in the urban areas because of pollution, and there's none at all at the high altitude. So when you have these big convective storms, it pushes the air up to 30 or 40,000 feet. And we can measure the amount of formaldehyde with this instrument. Formaldehyde is a byproduct of combustion as well as trees. You generally find it in higher concentrations among polluted areas, usually in the first zero to five kilometers above the Earth's surface. The chemical is a known carcinogen and in high concentration can cause cancer. NASA can't measure everything. We can't measure benzene and toluene and acetone and, well, we can measure all those things, but we can't measure a thousand different things at once. But if you measure formaldehyde, you can be pretty darn sure that most of those other species are present as well. During storms, chemicals are sucked into the atmosphere like a vacuum, similar to the way a tornado takes in everything in its path. What we need to do to get climate models more accurate is to be able to model the storms and see how... Uh, the storms actually do move the mass from down low to up high. And so this is part of a program to investigate how storms transport uh, uh, pollutants from the boundary layer, uh, water from the boundary layer, also how uh, clouds form. And prior to developing the new technology, the only other airborne instrument that could measure formaldehyde weighed 600 pounds. The new instrument weighs only 60 pounds.